These quiet months before the new year can take Calgary's real estate market in one of three directions. They could be the biggest missed opportunity of the year, the calm before the storm that sends prices tumbling, or something else entirely. What's that third possibility? Well, to know where we're headed, we first need to understand where we're at. That's exactly what I'm going to break down today as we dive into the latest stats and uncover what's really ahead for the end of 2024 and the start of 2025. Stick around if you're planning to buy or sell in 2025. This is information you can't afford to miss. But first, if you're new here, my name is Dawn and my goal with this channel is to help people grow their wealth through real estate. If you find any value in my videos, please like and subscribe. Let's start with the numbers. November saw 1,797 home sales, slightly ahead of last year's 1,783 sales, showing that demand remains strong despite a shifting market. Inventory has risen significantly, up 45% year over year to 4,352 homes, easing the intense competition we saw earlier this year. The benchmark price for all property types is 587,900, up 3.5% year over year, but slightly down month over month. The benchmark price for detached homes is currently sitting at 750,100, which is actually down 17,700 from the peak this year in July, while apartments saw the sharpest growth currently up 8.9% year over year to 337,800. These numbers show a market in transition with varying dynamics across price ranges and property types. If you want more detailed information into each segment and community, you can find the full stats package at the link below. Now, if you're planning to sell, you probably want to know how long it's going to take. Or if you're buying, you'll want to get an idea of how long you have to think things over before making a decision. In November, the average days on market climbed to 37 days, up from 29 days last year. But to really understand what's happening, let's look at the trends for 2024. January started at 34 days on market, reflecting the typical winter slowdown. By March through June, homes were selling in just 19 to 20 days, the peak of the spring market when demand was high and inventory was tight. From July through October, the pace slowed, climbing to 24 days in July, 27 days in August, 32 days in October. Now, in November, homes are taking 37 days on average, marking the slowest pace we've seen all year. These trends align with Calgary's typical seasonal patterns. Homes sell faster in the spring and summer when activity peaks, then take longer in the fall and winter as the market cools. But what's important to remember is seasonal slowdowns are normal here. This year's increase in days on market also reflects the rising inventory we've seen since the spring. Now, let's talk about inventory because this is the key factor in shaping Calgary's market right now and likely into 2025. Since the spring, we've seen a steady rise in new listings, pushing inventory levels higher than we've seen for a few years. Now, that's great news for buyers because it means more options and less competition, especially in the mid to high price ranges. But here's the question, can current demand keep up with this growing supply? If sales activity remains strong, rising inventory could balance the market without significantly impacting prices. But if demand cools, we could see downward pressure on prices, particularly in segments with the most supply like detached homes. This dynamic is why months of supply is such an important metric to watch. November was 2.42 months of supply and here's what that means. Balanced market is typically above 2.5 months to about four months and above that being a buyer's market and below a seller's. At 2.42 months of supply, Calgary is still technically in a seller's market, but we're right on the edge of balance, particularly in higher price ranges. In contrast, lower priced homes remain firmly in seller's market territory with tighter supply. Now, beyond Calgary's real estate numbers, some broader events are worth noting because they could shape the market in the coming months. First, obviously interest rates. The Bank of Canada has cut its policy rate three times since mid-2024, bringing it to 3.75%, and another reduction is possible at the December 11th announcement. This is great news for buyers looking to lock in lower mortgage rates. But Inflation ticked up slightly to 2% in October, which might slow the pace of future cuts. 
we haven't even seen the full effects of rate cuts yet, and there are a lot of people waiting for further cuts to make a move. This is one of the major reasons we're just in this space of uncertainty, because we're just not coming out of a busy market, demand is still high and we have this almost card in our back pocket that we'll see what's going to happen when it's really truly played, meaning when buyers decide it's time to take action. We're also hearing a lot of talk of US tariffs on Canadian imports proposed by President-elect Donald Trump. If implemented, these tariffs could disrupt trade, impact employment, and weaken consumer confidence, all of which could ripple through Canada's economy. These factors are still developing, but they're important to watch as we move into 2025, as they could influence demand and affordability right here in Calgary. So what does this all mean for you? For buyers, the rising inventory and extended days on market give you more options and negotiating power, particularly in the higher price ranges. However, lower priced homes remain competitive, so you'll need to be prepared to act quickly if you find a home that you love. For sellers, the increase in inventory and slower sales means you'll need to be strategic. Pricing right and presenting your home well will help you stand out. If you're planning to sell next year, targeting the spring or early fall if the spring is too early could position you for success. Remember to price into the market. With a balanced market, pricing high could be detrimental to your sale. If you're looking on tips how to sell your home for faster and more money, you can check out my video here. Now let's get back to that third possibility. I mentioned at the start of this video, what if Calgary's market doesn't boom or crash, but instead it just balances out? With inventory rising and demand cooling slightly, we're likely heading into balanced conditions, a market where buyers and sellers have more equal negotiating power. If you're curious about how this could play out through 2025, don't miss my video on Calgary's 2025 market predictions where I dive deeper into what I think is coming next year. Are you curious about the numbers or maybe you're somebody like me who wants to see and read what I'm discussing here? The latest stats from the Calgary Real Estate Board are linked below. If you have any questions about buying or selling or to discuss how these trends affect your real estate goals, you can book a call with me in the link below. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you soon.